From the Twin Cities to the White House, a specific type of crime is grabbing headlines as prosecutors look to take down entire groups all at once. The acronym is becoming well known. What is the RICO Act and how does it impact organized crime? Good question. Jeff Wagner talked with a lawyer who specializes in these cases. From gangs on city streets. This is historic for this state and for the work that we do. To potential interference with election results. The defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise. Federal and state prosecutors are leaning on a law that marked a turning point in how criminal enterprises are dismantled. I think it caused a reorganization of organized crime. Jeff Grell is a University of Minnesota adjunct professor who teaches a class on RICO. What is the RICO Act? Uh, technically, it stands for the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. So it's a very handy law to address large groups of people all at once under one count, and it makes it far more likely that all of those people can be tried together in one trial. Created in 1970, RICO targeted the mafia, ensuring the leaders of these syndicates could be held responsible for up to 35 crimes, including murder, gambling, extortion, robbery, drug dealing, and money laundering. So what RICO did is it allowed prosecutors to, to prosecute people who didn't get their hands bloody in the crime, but were operating and managing an enterprise, knowing that that enterprise was engaged in criminal conduct. In Minneapolis, nearly 60 gang members are now charged in one RICO case. The massive undertaking requires collaboration between local, state, and federal agencies. War room, sort of, uh, you know, like they did, like prosecutors did years ago, you know, prosecuting the Gambino family. In Georgia, former President Donald Trump and 18 others face RICO charges, alleging they tried to overturn the 2020 election results. While those cases grab the spotlight, Grell said RICO is more often invoked in civil cases involving corporations. The Catholic Church has been a RICO defendant. Uh, every major Fortune 500 company has been a uh, RICO defendant. What are the penalties under the RICO Act? The minimum uh, sentence is five years, and then it can go up to 20 years. RICO also has the power to freeze a defendant's assets before the case even gets to trial. So that uh, obviously assets can't be moved overseas, Money can't be spent. Money can't be transferred. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Former President Donald Trump faces state-level RICO charges. He said that he plans to turn himself into a Georgia jail on Thursday night.